what is up you guys film fan 0599 here again and today we're going to review mission impossible fallout so mission impossible fallout stars tom cruise Henry cavill Dave rames simon Pegg, and rebecca ferguson and what this film is basically about after our mission basically went wrong the guys now ethan hunt and his team need to get this plutonium that was basically stolen from them and now before basically they use it to destroy the world. That's basically the, I, the plot I need to give you because there's a, there's a lot of things that happen in this movie. So yeah, so what did I think of Mission Impossible Fallout? Now going into Mission Impossible Fallout, I was obviously very, 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 very excited for this movie. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Mission Impossible franchise. I think it might be my favorite spy franchise of all time, to be honest. And I have basically enjoyed almost every movie in the series. So I was very excited to see where this one would go. Christopher McCoy was coming back to do this this one, you know. This is the first time they've ever brought back a director to do another one. They, you know, they always get a new director each time. This was the first time they ever brought a you know a director from the previous film to come back and do you know the next installment, and I was very interested to see you know why was that you know why would you know why did they bring him back, and I couldn't wait to see that and also the praise that this movie was given was was unbelievable, I couldn't wait to see it, and uh, yeah, it deserves pretty much all the praise it's getting. This is probably one of the greatest action films I've ever seen in my whole life, to be honest. Like, I have not been so on edge, like, just seeing a movie more just crazy in my life. Like, it just not since Mad Max Fury Road, I think. I have not seen a movie that just keeps on going and going and going. Like, there's never, like, just room to breathe with this movie. Something is always happening. And I love that. Like, this movie is basically Adrenaline Rush, the film. That is basically this movie. And I absolutely loved every minute of this movie. This movie is absolutely outstanding. I loved Mission Impossible Fallout so, so much. So, um, why did I love it? Well, let's get into the positives, shall we? Here are the positives. So first with the positives I have is the acting. The acting is actually really great in this movie, to be honest. I absolutely loved the acting in this movie. The acting was fantastic. Tom Cruise is basically a madman. This dude, I don't know how he does it, but he does. Um, and he's amazing. Like, I really thought this is probably his best performance as the character, to be honest. Like, just the emotion and the drive that he has in this movie. Is absolutely incredible and I pretty much loved every minute of it he is absolutely phenomenal in this film and you know proving why he could be the greatest action star of all time and just the insane stunts that the guy does especially in this movie like it is absolutely astounding to be honest like the fact that this guy is like I think he's in his 50s now I think and he's, he's doing all these crazy stunt still it's amazing because the dude's committed to his craft i love actors that are committed to their craft and he definitely is one of them and he's fantastic like i really loved how he just you know just wants to you know give some sort of realism and i really like that with the film you know show that you know that's him that's him doing the stunts and that's what makes even even more intense when it comes to these action sequences because you know that's actually him doing these stunts and it makes it even more intense while you're watching the action films uh, the action sequences and it's very great in my opinion I think Tom Cruise is absolutely fantastic and besides the crazy stunts he still gives like a great performance he really does like he you know shows really an emo uh, emotional drive with this character like I said this is probably the best I've ever seen of the character in any of the films and this is definitely Tom Cruise's best performance as the character in any of these films so yeah he's absolutely astounding Henry Cavill, this guy, just, he has no chill. This guy is just, he, he means business, this guy. Henry Cavill is absolutely fantastic 
in this movie. This is probably the best I've ever seen him, to be honest. He is just, like I said, he, he just doesn't care. He, you know, he just doesn't. And I love that about his character. He is just, you know, get down to business. We're doing this right here, right now. And I love that. He's a force to be reckoned with. And he's great. I can really enjoy his character a lot. He is really fantastic, honestly. I really enjoyed Henry Cavill in this movie. Like I said, he just gives a bare bones, just kind of just rough attitude. And it's awesome. And I love that. He's so great in this movie. And I absolutely enjoyed every minute of him whenever he came on screen. So, yeah, he was fantastic. Big Rames is always great. It's always great to see that guy in these movies. I love him. He's absolutely fantastic in this goes the same with Simon Pegg. He is great as well. Rebecca Ferguson was great to see back in the franchise, you know, and I quite enjoyed her a lot in this movie too. She was very good. Um, Alec Baldwin was good as well. So yeah, the acting is really good in this movie. I thought everyone did an absolutely fantastic job in the film. The action sequences are absolutely outstanding. This is easily the best action sequences I have seen all year. I absolutely love the action sequences with this movie. They are very intense, very just high stakes, adrenaline rush. They are amazing. Seriously. I, of course, no spoilers. I know the movie's been out for almost two months, but still, no spoilers. But that finale, that finale, seriously, that finale left me speechless. I can't even believe what I was witnessing. Seriously, the action sequences, and besides just that, there are a lot of action sequences in this movie just, just left me speechless. Just like, how the hell did they pull that off? Like, you're just wondering that the entire movie. Like, how did they do this? Like, it's just, it's amazing. Like, the action sequences are phenomenal. Easily the best in the franchise and easily the best of the entire year in my opinion. I absolutely loved the action sequences with this film. They are absolutely phenomenal in my opinion. Seriously. I don't know how Christopher McQuarrie did it. Seriously. The way he directs these action sequences are absolutely fantastic. And I think he does a, fan a phenomenal job directing them and I really loved the action sequences a lot in this movie. Seriously. Blew me away. By far the best action sequences I think I've seen since Fury Road, to be honest. Absolutely astounding. The twists and turns that this movie takes, okay, they take a lot. And they are great, seriously. Like, I really loved how this movie, just this movie just was like, it goes from one end to the other end, and it's amazing. Like, I really love that. Like, seriously, I didn't see a lot of them coming, to be honest. So, I was quite surprised. I was like, oh, crap. And, you know... I loved it, like it was great. I really loved the twist and turns that this movie took because it was really great. I actually really liked how they did that in the film, honestly. So yeah, I really liked how they did that. The villains are fantastic. Honestly, I'm having the, the debate if I like the villains more in this or, you know, Philip Seymour Hoffman in Mission Impossible 3 because the villains in this movie are fantastic. Like seriously, if there's one thing that I have not really liked for the most part with these Mission Impossible films is the villains. Um, I thought the vil especially in the last movie, I thought the villain was very weak. Like, I thought they could have done so much better with him, but in this movie, no, they upped the ante with the villains, and they are fantastic. I really loved the villains a lot in this movie, honestly. Like, seriously, they were menacing, they had presence to them, and they felt like a legitimate threat to their team, and I really loved that a lot in this film. The writing is really fantastic with this movie. I really did love the writing a lot. Uh, the directing is phenomenal. Christopher McQuarrie does an absolutely phenomenal job directing this movie. Seriously, his directing style with this film is fantastic. The way he crafts these action sequences and these set pieces are absolutely amazing. I just really love how he directs this film, to be honest. It's very well shot. The cinematography is absolutely gorgeous. The editing is amazing by far i think probably the best editing i've seen all this year like it is absolutely fantastic like i love the editing with this film some phenomenal phenomenal editing in my opinion so yeah christopher mccrory's directing is absolutely incredible oh uh, the pacing is amazing like i said this movie never stops this movie just keeps on going going 
going and going. It is a non-stop adrenaline ride. That's basically what it is. And it never stops. And I love that. It's almost two and a half hours long. I never felt the pacing once. Never did I. I was invested in this movie 100%. And honestly, I just wanted the movie to keep on going. When it ended, I was like, man, I, I want to see more. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I just was like, I'm so invested into this. Like, it just moved at such a nice natural pace and there was never really a time I was bored in this movie to be honest never really I was invested in this movie 100 percent nah I don't think so <laughs> so overall Mission Impossible Fallout is an absolutely outstanding movie I absolutely love this film this is honestly one of the greatest action films I think I've ever seen in my whole life. Like, I thought they could never up the ante with the fourth movie with Ghost Protocol, but they did. They did with this one. This one, wow, what a true action masterpiece in my opinion. They have created such an incredible movie, honestly. I am still, it's been almost a month since I've seen this movie. I've seen this movie twice. And I was still blown away, honestly. Like, this movie just... Wow. Like, I honestly was left speechless both times I saw it, honestly. Like, it just... It's so amazing. It really is. It's such an incredible movie, honestly. Like, I really loved this movie. Wow. This is one of those movies that just shows me, like... Yeah, this is why I love movies. You know what I mean? It's just one of those films, man. I absolutely loved Mission Impossible Fallout. And if you couldn't tell by now, my official grade on Mission Impossible Fallout is absolutely, without question, an A+. This is probably my favorite movie of the year, to be honest. Like, honestly, I've really thought about it a lot. And this is, yeah, this is probably it, man. This is probably my favorite movie of the year. Everything about this film is absolutely perfect, honestly. There's not a single thing that I really think is wrong with this movie. This is such a phenomenal film. I absolutely loved every minute of Mission Impossible Fallout. And I don't know how they're going to top it with the seventh, mo seventh movie, if there is a seventh movie. I am very curious to see because, yeah, this movie just upped the ball game even more so. So, yeah, Mission Impossible Fallout easily, without question, deserves an A+. So, if you have seen Mission Impossible Fallout, please, what did you think of it? Leave it in the comment section below. And I am FilmFan0599, and we'll see you all later. Peace.